Hey, it's just up here. I've got several products that I want to showcase and go through today. So first of all, my main daily keyboard. This is my main daily keyboard, which is Logitech G915 wireless tactile version. There is a weirdness on this corner here because I took out keycaps for these two keys. The reason for that is because I tend to feel out the corner of the keyboard by just touching on this control key. But when there is a keycap for this key, I mistakenly press that button instead of the control whenever I'm doing control C, control V, copy and paste sort of stuff. And I do use a lot of short keys on my keyboard. Yet if that is there, I keep pressing it wrong so I took that keycap out therefore I am no longer mistaken actually none of the keys actually function so I'm free to press as well and I also noticed myself mistaking this key or the keycap as escape key therefore pressing it wrong so I took those two out and I seem to do everything just fine I don't find myself using any of the keys up here other than these media keys and the volume control but I do use numpad a lot and I rely on that therefore I really like the overall feeling and the layout of the keyboard and I really like the mechanical low profile nature of this keyboard so yeah I really have been liking this keyboard only the downside is the fact that this is very expensive keyboard let's look at the price of it so Logitech G915 is currently priced at the 10 keyless version is currently costing $182 and then for the full size it is costing $221. So this is quite an expensive keyboard and if I had not been spending more than 10 hours a day in front of my desk I don't think I would have invested this much. And before opting into this keyboard I actually had bought another one which is Logitech MX keys and I have featured this keyboard on my previous videos too so please do check that out if you haven't already and there is also a smaller version of this keyboard available which I also featured on my video before so please check that out as well and because I do use number pad for work and it is kind of crucial for me to have them therefore I would kind of opt in for the full layout as opposed to the shorter version but if I had not had invested on a very expensive keyboard I would stick to this actually I used to use it in the office all the time as well as at home before jumping onto this one so whilst I do appreciate the mechanical aspect of the Logitech G915 I do like the overall feeling and the layout and this keyboard also has been perfect for me I guess that is a brief history and the current setup of my keyboard and by the way I do use my mouse MX Master 3 and I have been using this as a productivity mouse as well so by this point it is kind of obvious that I kind of keep all the Logitech devices around home so to add on to that, I actually have been using this keyboard a bit as well. So this is a new MX Keys mechanical keyboard. And basically this is a shorter version of this, but in a mechanical format. So if you were to combine these two together and shorten it, then you get this one over here. I don't know how it looks on the screen, but it really is a good looking keyboard. I really like the aesthetics of it. I like the accents of lighter gray along with the darker ones on the sides as an accent. And there is a top row of function keys with the media controls and everything. And then there's another row on the side of functions such as delete home and and page up and down along with the arrow key that's been tucked in on the corner here and as far as the mechanical keyboard goes I really like the feel of G915 tactile keys and they were somewhat light when I were to type on them let me turn it off and then type on for you it's a bit springy in light as well but it is pleasant to type on I can type on here all day however when you come onto this is slightly different it feels 
softer, it's not as springy, and it's not as light. Let me put it down and just type as well. There's a definitely a bit more springy feel on the G915 versus the MX Keys Mechanical. So as far as the feeling goes, I still like this very much. It is a pleasant keyboard to type on. However, because it is not a standard full keyboard layout, the number pad and such, I couldn't get used to the layout as well as I transitioned from the MX Keys, the original, the full keyboard to the G915 because the layout is very similar and I do use a lot of page up and down, delete, home, and all the number pads. So those are important and yet whenever I'm trying to go for the arrow keys, I kept pushing down page down key and it's just a little bit different from the standard layout. Therefore, it was just throwing me off a bit. Therefore, I actually purchased it with a couple of other number pads that are available on market. These are two kind of different number pad. One is from Microsoft, so I guess it is quite a known brand and it is kind of made in sort of surface device fashion. Therefore, the keys actually feel quite nice. It is quite well constructed and there is a calculator button so I can press that to bring up calculator and then type away and it works quite well and it is working through Bluetooth. So there may be some delays. It is sort of an inherent problem of Bluetooth devices, especially for mouse and keyboard. But for the function of productivity and business purposes, it is absolutely fine. I don't mind using this and you can kind of pair it up with this keyboard here so that you have the number pad on one side along with the page up and down, delete, home and end key there. And some people kind of have pointed out the fact that you can kind of switch over if you have a separate number pad to other side so that you can use the number pad with your left hand and mouse on your right hand. So it kind of functions well for some people or some usage, probably the people who does a lot of Excel. And there is another number pad in comparison to the Microsoft version. This one over here, it has a bit of incline whenever you're typing so you can kind of see that Microsoft soft version doesn't really have that whilst this one does so yeah you can kind of see that however it is from a no-name brand Levens or maybe some people have heard of it before BT22 is a model name I'll leave the link in the description for this one as well and this one works via Bluetooth as well and there were a couple of very similar keyboard versions were working via 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection therefore the connection would be more solid however it's gonna require that dongle to connect to your computer or your USB type A port. So I did not want that. Therefore, I kind of got this one that works over Bluetooth. However, the keys kind of feel somewhat more plasticky. It doesn't feel as nice if you're the type of person who quibbles about how the keys feel, such as using mechanical keys, then you may not like this one just because of the mushy plasticiness of the keys. However, they do work well. So if I was on the budget and if I just need a number pad that works, then I'm sure this will do the job fine. So the in comparison, the quality is much better on the Microsoft. However, the downside is the fact that this one uses radio button battery. So you're gonna have to pop it open and there is a round radio button battery in there. So whenever it runs out of battery, then and you're gonna have to find one and replace one. And I don't know how long this is going to last. However, I did not want to keep radio button battery around in my household. I don't like them. So yeah, whilst the quality of the keypad is really good, but I really did not like the battery solution. In this day and age, you can easily implement like a USB charging port. A lot of devices do that. So I don't know why Microsoft hasn't gone down that route. But other than that, this is a rock solid keypad or number pad for you to use if you were to use some type of keyboard like this and like switching over and such. And going back to this one, it does not allow you to recharge with a USB port. Although there are very similar number pads available that is actually chargeable with USB 
USB ports so you can certainly look for them as well however this was easy because you can just put a rechargeable AAA batteries and you should be fine and I do have plenty of them which I can recharge easily therefore I purchased this to kind of pair it up with this keyboard over here to see if it is a right fit for me so far my decision was that this keyboard layout isn't necessarily what I like therefore I keep finding myself going back to G915 just because of the familiar layout and also the rock solid number pad that is on the right side of the keyboard and this layout certainly occupies less space on your desk so if you're the type of person who likes to move around the number pad or just don't really use it then this will be perfect for you I don't really need that much of a desk space on my desk so I decided to just kind of move on to a full-size version of this keyboard MX keys mechanical so let's go ahead and open that box since that arrived at my home I'm quite excited for this and by the way the box for this keyboard over here was this one so I just wanted to kind of show you what the box was since we were gonna get into the full-size one and here is the full-size keyboard so basically maintains very similar look overall and it is a full size layout so it really is just combining G915 with the MX keys boom this happens let's go ahead and look at the box so as you can see it states MX Mechanical the Master Series by Logitech which is a series that I do really like wireless illuminated performance keyboard and it is mechanical typing tactile quiet so it is a type of keys that I do like and in here what's in the box the keyboard the dongle as well as the cable and the manual it works via bluetooth as well as the logi bolt and that is a slightly different format to some of the connection method that we are used to which i'll further mention later and here on the back it talks about it being able to connect to windows mac os ipad os ios chrome os linux android basically anything that you throw it at and also the quiet tactile keys long lasting comfort smart illumination which is what it was really good about MX keys that it has a proximity sensor therefore if you bring yourself closer to the keyboard it starts to illuminate so for those of you who find illuminated keys to be very important those are good aspects robust multi device connectivity connect up to three different devices via Bluetooth or logi bolt so I don't know how well you can see this but this is a unifying dongle from Logitech which is sort of the older tech of the logi bolt and this will not work with the new MX keys mechanical keyboards and that was sort of the issue for me when they issued the MX keys mini which is the 70% version of the keyboard and this dongle will no longer work with the new series of the master keys and the mouse actually however this keyboard does come with the dongle the logi bolt dongle therefore we can use that so let's go ahead and open it so the typical Logitech box stuff there's a couple of instructions up here which I'm quite aware at this point and this thin paper wrap so the keyboard is out just the same color scheme and same type of feel of the keys just like this version over here but kind of maintaining the overall full layout of the keyboard of the MX keys and overall design is quite well maintained but underneath it we are finding the logi bolt dongle which i will use to connect as well as this box over here that contains the manual as well as the cable so there's a couple of paperwork that's involved as well as the cable which I won't really use since I like using other type of cables that I already have and nothing more. Just for the comparison here is a Logibolt dongle and this is a unifying dongle which has this orange slash red icon over here versus the green one so that one no longer works however when it comes to keyboard it looks fantastic i really like this
and I really do like the feel of this keyboard and the fact that everything is in a standard layout therefore I'm gonna be able to find all the keys quite easily and no funniness going on on the side of the keyboard therefore taking up much less of the space actually let's go ahead and compare this so it is about the same profile as MX Keys, the original one, which I really liked. Comparison to Logitech G915, it is definitely shorter because you're missing that extra row of macro keys, which I don't mind losing. And also the top bezel along with the buttons over here it doesn't have the nice volume control or the scroll wheel there, but I can live without that. One thing I did want to point out is a fact that I like having this magnetic USB cable function all the peripherals that I have therefore I can easily connect therefore it starts charging and also the mouse over here I kind of have that little thing in there so that I can easily charge different devices and I did exactly the same for my MX keys so I have all of that easily charging and easily connecting whenever I need to and because the key Keyboards don't really move around. I don't mind having them connected all the time. This is pretty much how I use my keyboard these days. Therefore, I'll probably insert the little dongle in here very quickly. If you would like to have that, I'll leave the link in the description so you guys could get it too. Just in there and then I can easily connect onto this keyboard over here. And then if this is your device, connect to it is what my computer is prompting me so that I connect via Bluetooth. However, I don't wish to do that just yet because I wanted to talk about one thing. The G915 is a primarily gaming keyboard. Therefore, it has gaming features. So you can change all the RGB values, all the keys could be different colors, individually controllable. So you can change the color other than white. However, the Logitech keys mechanical will just illuminate into white, which I don't mind at all. And also G915 connects via Bluetooth and also this dongle, which is slightly bigger than the Logibolt dongle so this is not much of a trouble to connect to your devices so it works with the dongle or the Bluetooth but one more connection type which is being wirely connected so I can actually use this keyboard without the dongle connected to my machine because I have this cable connected to my computer so I really like that feature that basically removes any of the delays that gets introduced by using a wireless keyboard so for gaming purposes that's much better however for productivity and normal business use you don't really need that fast of a response time therefore you don't really need to have a wired connection and I guess for MX keys mechanical doesn't offer that function so you're gonna have to lose that feature if you were type of person who would like to connect via wire for your keyboards however based on my testings the connection for the keyboards are still rock solid it doesn't really introduce much of delays at all so I'm fine going this route where I'm connecting everything wirelessly on this dongle over here I have not been able to connect all of my other peripherals that are connected via unifying dongle onto all here I wish my mouse and multiple keyboards would be just functioning via one single dongle but if you had been using the unifying dongle therefore you're gonna have to have both of them connected to your machine maybe I'll let you know via leaving a little message there and if you were to use Bluetooth for connection for your keyboard because yeah they do all work through Bluetooth however Bluetooth sometimes drops out I have experienced that before and also it is somewhat annoying the fact that it goes to sleep and your keyboard has to kind of wake up and connect to your computer time to time it was kind of annoying and you wouldn't really play games via Bluetooth connection of your keyboard because it will have some delays therefore the preferred method is to use a dongle which I will so other than that let's go ahead and connect this dongle onto my machine and then the power button is over here I can turn that on and the keyboard is now illuminated and it is certainly working so let's do some typing test oh by the way I do use this MX 
I think it is called palm rest. It is meant for all the MX keys keyboard and it raises your palm just a little bit so that it is more comfortable to use and I actually have been using this for G915 as well. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. So let me go ahead. Okay, so not bad, 78 is quite uh, faster than my usual, even on my first try. And one of other feature is the fact that I have number pad here, so hit the calculator key and then the calculator shows up. So I can type in all the numbers easily. However, I need to turn on the num lock there. Typing all the numbers are easy. It is nicely illuminated as you can see and it is feeling quite nice. The keys are very soft. The keys do have some concave in them but feels a little bit heavier than G915 and the keys are actually softer than G915. The G915 had very plasticky feeling caps or perhaps lighter. However, the MX keys mechanical have sort of more softer kind of, I wouldn't say rubbery, but uh, a bit softer finish. And it doesn't clickety clack as much. It is more silent, I would say, and feels slightly heavier on the keys. Yeah, it is a very solid feeling keyboard. Obviously, I'm gonna have to use it for quite some time to determine whether I really like it or not. And the pricing of it will impact that experience quite a lot. So let's look at the pricing as well. The price for the full-size keyboard is currently running at $146, although it is a discounted price from $170. Therefore, actually making it cheaper than the compact version, which is full price at $150. So yeah, it is certainly not the most expensive keyboard such as G915, $180 two or three dollars or full price is 230 whereas the full size original pricing at 250 dollars discounted to 220 that still is very expensive so here is the compact version and the full size layout and both are illuminated so you guys could kind of compare and see i didn't really like the fact that these are all kind of 
pushed together because I do use these keys or these keys quite often. But if you're the type of person who can kind of live with this kind of layout, actually paired up with a uh, number pad like this or perhaps over there, then yeah, this would certainly be a good keyboard for you. And by the way, I did not mention this. However, the feed is adjustable. There is a single adjustment of eight degrees up here, whereas the MX keys did not have that, but it did have a bit of incline with the battery pack that's all up in here. And the G915 did allow you to have a lot further adjustments because it did allow you to have different degrees of the incline. So four degrees versus eight was available and I did use it at eight. So I am definitely going to appreciate the fact that it has those level of adjustments. But since I like the full keyboard layout, therefore I'm gonna use this full size layout of MX Keys Mechanical to see if this becomes my main daily keyboard that I'm gonna use it for a very long time. So hopefully this video was somewhat useful for you in comparing three different mechanical keyboard as well as MX Keys, the original one, if you prefer chiclet style of keyboard. If it was useful for you, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.